Trading up to a newer, nicer home seemed like a good idea to Micheline Bess, who sold the McGregor house a while back. But she got caught in the riptide of a population boom. We're fortunate enough that we, we found this property, but um, for a few years there wasn't anything that met our needs. She says she'll wait out the changing tide here until things settle down and she can get what she really wants. Meantime, all over town, folks from out of town shell out bigger and bigger bucks every day for homes here. You have people that come in and are paying over a million dollars for houses that are not worth a million dollars, but they have cash to pay for it. And so, um, yeah, property values are just increasing like crazy. A development some say started when SpaceX landed its rocket testing operation here, but continues on the fuel of what experts call a Texas population boom on fire. Local leaders call all this growth a good problem to have. And most believe them right about that, though that doesn't really help those of us caught up in it very much. But you can get help with out-of-whack property appraisals and the property taxes connected to them. The first question you should ask is, would I, would I be able to sell my house for that or would I be able to sell it for more than that? Facts may show it a better idea to cash in and take the money and get cheaper property further out. If you can handle the number, you might still save on taxes if you had significant damage from the Texas deep freeze. A lot of people may have, have had pipe damage, um, buildings might have collapsed due to the snow and ice and so if they have those kind of issues they can bring them to us you'll have to meet a minimum threshold of 15 percent of the value of the structure not including the land say you don't agree with your property appraisal and this year they expect a lot of people to do that the process of appealing is very easy you just go here to the appraisal office or do it online and register for an appeal uh, the deadline to protest is may 15th so if you do think there's been uh, an error or uh, information not considered in developing your uh, appraisal, I would encourage people to uh, take that step to protest. You'll need evidence to back up your claim. We won't be quite as lenient this year. How many more do you expect this year? I mean, are you, how many more are you preparing for? Let's put that one. I, I believe we had 11,000 protests last year, roughly. Uh, we'll probably hit 15 or 16,000. Finally, Texas gives us a break for well, being a Texan. They may qualify for homestead exemption if they live there on January 1st. Um, so although you're going to be paying taxes, it's a good time to remind those people that don't understand what the homestead exemption does, but they can definitely save on the taxes. Again, you'll need to prove it. Not a problem for longtime Texan Micheline Bess, who says some of us might want to put a little money away in case we have to pay more in property taxes this year. Obviously, the oversight has caught up with us. And so just like with any situation such as that, we're, we're going to have to pay our dues. Because counting yourself among the nation's most popular comes with a cost. Dennis Turner, 25 News.